G'day guys, it's Dre here and today I thought I will be playing some quizzes to do with my hometown, my home country, Australia. So a lot of people have been playing like, can you guess the 50 states of America? So I thought why don't I do some Aussie quizzes. So this one is called, can you name the 8 states and territories of Australia? So this should be really really easy, so let's see how we go. Um, do I just, oh, um, what? Okay, so I've started, so there's, there's South, there's South Australia, well, that's where I'm from, so I am in here, this little one down here is Tasmania, did I spell it right, Tas, Tasmania? I just realized I have no idea how to spell Tasmania. Oh, let me go a bit. I know that's Tasmania. There's the ACT. Hell yeah. Oh, then WA. No. Western. There's Western Australia. UST. RA. LA. Then there's. NT or Northern Territory. See, this is just a spelling test. Northern Territory. Boom. There's Victoria. Victoria. There's Queensland. Queensland. Oh, what is that? That's like Melbourne and Sydney. I know that's Tasmania at the bottom, Taz. Mania. How do you spell Tasmania? Tasmania. Yeah? That's Taz. That is Tasmania. What do you want about? Taz. Mania. There we go. What is that one? So there's... Oh. Oh, hold on. New South Wales. Yeah. Boom. So that's all the states and states and territories of Australia. So Australia is actually pretty easy. We have the Australian Capital Territory, so you know that's the capital of Australia. So the next one is called the da -na 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 -na. The Aussie English for Beginners, the True Blue Aussie Quiz. How true blue are you? So with some Aussie icons, as you know, of Aussie English, it pushed to the limit. You got the chance to win a sausage sanger or a pair of thongs. But if you're a real true blue, answer all these questions quickly, you'll win a sheep station. So give it a bro and just have, see how true blue you really are. So let's see. Again, I'm Aussie through and through, through so let's see. The origin of the term too big note yourself derived from To big note yourself. A, a physical size of big note is money. B, the volume at which a big note speaks in order for everyone to hear. The fact that wealthy people are wealthy and often become quite large or big. In Italian term, big note the meaning high level of confidence. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do that. Oh, so it is A. Okay. Well, I didn't know that. Round two. I'm looking like a real bad Aussie. The term Firm fee, an untrue rumor or obscure story came from what? Sounds similar to furry or fuzzy, just descriptive of a fact with a rumor. The car that transported water during or one, a containment used to send a message via pigeon. A river in, in, in Egypt whose water is quite stagnant and muddy. No. Mm. It's A or C. I'm going to go with C. It's B. Okay. And I've got a good authority that... Okay. I am not knowing any of these. I'm looking so bad. Where did the word Bilby originate? Uh oh, tourists making tea in this... Souvenir, Billy. Bilby. Um, continue carrying water around goat form. Named after a tourist convict turned tea blender in the early days of... Colony. 
tea was that was imported from India came from a cylindrical tin called a billy. Scottish down nah, I'd be like something stupid like this or A. Is it really D? Okay. Oh, I know that. That's um, it's one of our footy teams. Can't think of the word. Why is a male a Mali ball considered fit? You know, it's sarcastic. They survive very difficult conditions. Mali country is lush and stocked, well fed, healthy. It's probably sarcastic, honestly. I have heard of none of these things. Why was a Bondi tram said to shoot through? Um, because isn't it really, yeah, down, um. <laughs> no, we're slow and late. Oh my god, that is so true. Um, the bon the Bondi Express route ran downhill, so it seemed to be faster service. Conductors usually used to carry firearms to protect themselves from tram jackings in the late 1950s. The Bondi Express ran straight through from time to money. I'm doing the joke one, because honestly, <laughs> I don't care which one's right. That's fairy bread at the top, by the way, in case you didn't know. What are bandicoots thought to be miserable creatures? The males only males once. The males only mate once in a lifetime, which often leads to. Them. I don't think bandicoots do that. That's um. No, grasshoppers are female versions. Their long faces just, just happiness. In the dreamtime story, the bandicoot has no stretch out by a dingo. I'm pretty sure it was this one. Because at night, the call of the bandicoot sounded like a baby crying. I'm pretty sure it was this one. Why do I try, honestly? Well, that sucks. So now we'll go on to the ABC News, or the Australian Broadcast Channel, I believe it is. Australian slang quiz. How ochre is your knowledge? Okay. What is the name of a drinker that... What's the name of a drink that consists of bunga beer, rum, condensed milk, and an Eatmeese egg? What? <laughs> I'm no drinker, so I don't know this. Probably this. It's one of the two. What is a bushman's clock? Oh, Kookaburra laughing. Gotta be. If you're going to bend an elbow, what are you doing? Wait, what? If you're going to bend an elbow? You don't... Mm, going to bend an elbow? You could start a game of bat cricket. You're not doing... Mm, it's either going to be drinking beer or cricket. I'm going to go cricket. Yeah, I knew it was going to be either or. If I haven't seen a wombat since... Acre won the cup. How long has it been? Since Archer, a long time. That was weird. What is the term given to a four-wheel drive that has never been off-road, typically driven in an inner suburb city? Um, second, a Carlton Cruiser, a Brisbane Bentley, a Sydney Scraphead, or a Tucker Tracker. I'm pretty sure. It's, oh. Ignoring that, what is? Uh, I'm not gonna butcher. It. It's probably. It's either the town of nowhere or another saying word for beer. Because us Aussies do like to drink, but we're usually pretty good with our alcohol. So, uh, mythical insects similar to no. I'm gonna do that. Oh, what is that? Original fiction world in a poem in the 1920s. It later became popular as a way of scaring. City children, tourists who ventured into the bus, kind of like a drop bear. Drop bears don't exist. Okay. If I'm Pat Malone, what am I? Oh, Pat Malone. I've heard of that. Um. If I am Pat Malone, what am I? You're a mor Malone, yeah. I knew it was either Moron or Alone. If I've done a Harlan Hot, what did I do? Um. Climbed to the top of an organization, left unexpectedly, gone on an ill advice swim, established the reserve bank. Left unexpectedly? Yeah. If someone accuses of you doing a Harlan Hot, you've disappeared quickly. It rhymes slang with bolt. Just to let you know, none of these, I swear no one uses. Everybody knows what budgie smugglers are. What are these in terms for the cozy of the choice of the former fan? 
<sighs> That's our prime minister now, I think. Ugh. Where's another time for the cozies of choice perform? You are just ugh, weird. Fish frighteners, can you eat molly bass? That's so right. Every one of these slangs is humble, and I'm reeling swimwear. Really? Ugh. What is a molly docker? One of Shane Warne's famous deliveries. A big fan of Molly Meldrum, someone who is left-handed. Just one more slang term for me. I'm pretty sure it's that. Yeah. Kangaroos prefer to do things with their left hands. Fun fact. I did not know that. Oh, rice is then. Okay, we're gonna do some. Let's do some quizzes. So we got the Australian food quiz. What is a pie floater? A scoop of ice cream floating in a drink? A meat pie floating in a green pea soup? Ew. Vicky crumb floating in your coffee? I'm pretty sure it is C. Present left in your car by a bird? I'm pretty sure it's C. Meat pie floating? Ew. Green pea soup? That just sounds disgusting. What are rice bubbles? That, 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 that's a breakfast cereal. That, isn't that like Rice Krispie Treats? Uh, what's it called? Yeah, it's D. Yeah. Rice bubbles are also known as like I guess like Cocoa Pops, it's like Cocoa Puffs, sorry, it's like that, but without chocolate, it's weird, but it's really good. What do you call the Aussie favourite sponge cake that's in cubes dipped in chocolate and rolled in coconut? One of my favourite things in the world, it's a lamington. If you're offered a yabba, should you eat it? Um, oh, a yabby? Yes, of course you should eat it. Um, yes, it's a freshwater crayfish. You can also keep them as... You can also keep them as pets as well. Aussies love cooking snags in their barbecue. What's a snag? A snag is a sausage. Because we love our sausages. What is Vegemite? Vegemite is an amazing spread that is yeast and vanilla. Vegetable extracts that you put this much on. You see? Do you see the gap in between my fingers currently? Americanos and the rest of the world? You put like this much on, not even. This much butter on your bread. This much Vegemite. Okay? That's how you start off. And then eventually you spread it on like Nutella or peanut butter or jam or what you guys call jelly, which is weird. Uh, but no, it is C. Boom. What should you do with damper? Damper is basically a bread that was made in the Aboriginal... The Aboriginals make in the Outback. So... It's bread, so you should eat it. It's pretty simple. What are the tropical desserts made of meringue, whipped cream, and topped with a selection, a selection of tropical fruits called? It's named after a famous ballerina. It is Namdi, the pavlova, which is actually one dessert I do not like because it's so sugary. I love my sugar, but mer I don't like meringue, so I hate pavlova. Australians are the world's biggest consumers of meat pies. How many do we eat every year? Oh, uh, where's the biggest number? I'm gonna say D. Oh, okay, so it's close. Over 250 million. I mean, that's not surprising because every football game we ever have, someone's eating a meat pie, and there is the largest game, there would be 50,000 people there. Easily. And think of 50,000 people every week. You know? That's a lot of meat pies. So, this is some facts. I want to go back and do one more quiz. I don't know. I don't think I'd get most of these. I'm going to just do the slang one. If someone offers you a cuppa, says yes, and you'll get a cup of tea. Because a cuppa is like, oh, you want a cuppa? Like, do you want a cup of tea? Do you want a cup of coffee? Do you just want like a cup, like a hot beverage, basically? That's how we do it in this household anyway. But it's mainly a cup of tea. Tell me I'm right. Give me validation, thank you. If someone says they are aggro, what are they? C? Yeah, they're upset. Aggro is usually like... No, that's adver adver, that's different. If someone calls you a garlish, what are they saying about you? You're a loud and rude person, you're a gallant and a real gentleman, you're a criminal, 
Hit off with the gallows. I haven't heard of this one. I would have to say this is probably B. Oh, your A. It was either or. Um, if someone asks you to come over this Arvo, means this afternoon. So to understand Australians, because apparently they're hard to understand, we just shorten everything. So that g'day is good morning. Or, you know, good day. It's just everything is shortened because we're too lazy to say the full word. Full word. If someone tells you to give them a fair sack of the salve, um, they want you to... I would say that would be B, but it's, it could be C too. Because, like, oh, uh, I'm going to say C, even though I... Really? I didn't think that was, but okay. If someone says, I have the wog, what are they talking about? And the frog there, oh, that is either B or C, but it's, I think it's B. Yeah, means they're sick. If someone says, let's crack a tinny, what are they going to do? Oh, that's opening a good old beer by watching the cricket game. Yeah. If someone asks you where the dunny is, what are they looking for? They are looking for the toilet. Because that's what we call it. If someone asks you where the dummy is, what are they looking for? That's a baby pacifier. Or you could, it could be a son-in-law, to be honest. If someone says they are fair, fair dingham, that means that they know how to swim a little. No, it would be they were born in Australia. They are telling you the truth. <laughs> No, I don't believe that at all. But there were some quizzes to do with Australia because I feel like Australia just kind of gets left in the dust sometimes. So, well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, let me know in the comments below and tell me, do you guys want to learn more about some Aussie slang? Should we do more quizzes? Just kind of let me know what you guys are thoughts and feelings and etc, etc, etc. Because this is fun and maybe I should do some more quizzes, maybe about the rest of the world. And see how good my knowledge is. If I can barely get stuff to do in Australia, I'll probably do bad at everything else. So, yeah. Anyway, dry out says in the next video. Whoop! Sarcasm out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. See ya. Also, go check out all my social media links in the description below. I'm on Twitter every day, I'm on Instagram. I'm on... what's the other thing? I'm on Musical.ly now, which is Sarcasm XD. I've been on that for a little bit, but I had a break, but now I'm back on. I'm on Snapchat if you want to follow me. It's Black Diamond. So you're going you know, to look around for that. And yeah, I think that's all of my social media links. It's all in the description below anyway. So, bye! Yes.